In the previous lesson, we looked at the letter uh, G, which is light up, make a curve, down, up again, down straight, and then loop. In this lesson, we're going to look at the letter Q. The letter Q is formed in a very similar way. We go light up, we curve, we come down, we come up again, and then we come down, but then we just give a tick on the bottom. That's the simplest form of a letter Q. I'll give you another form in a moment. So light up, curve, around, up, down, and away. So let's see how this joins to other letters. T. Now, because of this long line here, um, a variant form of this letter um, is also being developed, and I find the variant form is the one that I use, like this. We come down, and then on the way back, we touch the line to the stem, and then we do our connecting stroke, and this is the Q. So, come down, we loop up at the back, touch the line, and then flick. I'll do that a few more times. We come up, we curve the line in, we come back on the same line, loop down, up, touch, down, straight, loop up at the back, touch, and away. And if we join this to other letters, you'll find that it's uh, much easier to do. Q, T. Q, I. Q, G. Um, Q. R. S. T. Let's do that again. Q R S T So that is the letter Q So, remember, once again, as I stress with every single lesson, spend some time drawing some lines which are all leaning forward in the same direction and more or less the same distance apart. This also helps you learn how to make straight lines, which that one, of course, is not so good. Another thing to practice is the long S, like so. This is just to develop your your hand and your freedom, etc. So the long S is a useful letter to practice regularly. Um, it helps you get nice loop shapes, which you will need for L's and J's, etc. So, finally, one last cue. 
right up, curve round, up, back, down, touch the back, and away. The point where you touch is up to you. Um, it can be lower down or it can be a bit higher up. You could touch if you have a line on your page like this, if you had a line paper, then you can touch on the line if you want to. So you can come up, touch on the line and away. And that means that this stroke will be in the same proportion to as, as all the other strokes starting from the line. Um, if you don't have line paper, it's not so important.